The O3 Ariant is the biggest innovation to FPV to date, or at least that's what they sponsored YouTubers say. But if you don't know what this is, basically the biggest challenge to FPV is seeing a high quality image with minimal lag or latency, but this Ariant is supposed to fix all that, even record almost like a GoPro, and provide incredible range, penetration, basically a dream come true, so let's test that. All right, so we are at a random field with the Nazgul Evoke V2 with the O3 Ariant, and if that's not the right name, I'm just gonna put it down right here, but I am very excited to fly this. I wasn't initially going to buy the O3 unit because it's very expensive and I've been destroying my drones. The more money that's flying in the air, which can get lost, the more risk you have and honestly, it's just a bigger blow to your wallet. So I really wasn't going to do it until I maybe had a bit of a drone accident in uh, Bali. Subscribe if you wanna see what happened there. And I basically destroyed the drone. So we've got the Nazgul. I'm very excited to fly this for two reasons. One, the O3 Alien is supposed to be a game changer. You're supposed to be able to see clearly. The range is crazy. And number two, the Nazgul Evoke is supposedly the best drone on the market. Like there's so many people saying, best drone ever, most hyped, blah, blah, blah. So this will be my first impressions of the O3 unit and this new drone. Additionally, I'll be using the V2 goggles, which I think a lot of people will be interested in. Everyone who gets uh, sponsored to make these videos, they get the new goggles. I can't find them anywhere out here in Australia. They're also like $1,000 Australian. That's a shit ton of money. So for the majority of normal human beings, uh, you'll probably stick with the old goggles. So we'll see if that makes a difference. We'll see if it's worth it. And yeah, lots to unpack. Let's get this thing flying. I am excited. Let's do it. Wow. Oh my God, it is so clear. Oh my Lord. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. This control is so small, I'm like legit not used to it. Holy shit. Right, I need to change these settings, man. I'm not used to this. Holy crap, it's so clear. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, these gimbals are really tight too. I'm not used to this at all. Oh my lord, this is crazy though. Oh, the drone's so quiet. Oh my god, this drone flies like butter as well. Let's try and do a dive or something. Make sure no one's here. Why does it sound so quiet? All right, let's try and split us this. No prop wash, oh my God. The Evoke is legit. Everyone, the Evoke is legit. This is absolutely nuts. I'm looking through a GoPro right now while I fly. And it's crazy. Holy fuck. All right, let's try and split S this. Oh my God, I nearly crashed. Nice. Great, absolutely great. I'm not used to this control at all. I'm not used to these rates. I'm flying like shit, to be honest. But wow, that's like looking through a GoPro. All right, so while I fly, these are some of my first impressions. I didn't do much talking because I was concentrating very hard flying the FPV controller too, which I busted my ass to try and get because they're out of stock everywhere in Australia. But the image, even on the V2 goggles, is very, very impressive and extremely noticeable. It honestly looks incredible. It's also absolutely insane the image you get from this. This is easily good enough for freestyle and you can genuinely use this on social media because they compress your image so much, this can definitely pass. It's a bit of a shame that you have to film 16 by nine to get the best image, which is 4K. 60. So if I was to use a GoPro on top, I would film 4x3, but that would be in 2.7K. Just a heads up, there's a border and some glare because I tried to mount an ND filter extremely strangely onto the O3 Ariant, but I kind of fixed that a little bit later on. All right, so we just flew our first pack and some quick first impressions. My God, the O3 Ariants in the V2 goggles, not even the brand new goggles, looks so good. It's definitely better than the old Vistas, even in the V2 goggles, which is very, very impressive. If it even looks even better, 
in the new goggles that's gonna be crazy but wow that is insane second of all this drone flies very well not much prop wash at all i can already say it flies better than my old drone which is the diatone f5 v2 i wish i could make the angle a bit less tilted it comes at a very high angle out the box I forgot my screwdriver, so forgetting shit everywhere, but I think this quad is performing great. I thought it'd feel a bit heavy with the full GoPro. I think it's okay. Let's try and fly some more packs and see how it feels. Let's try not to crash this beautiful drone. Right, the ND filter is really loose, so I'll keep that in mind. Find this thing. My god, man, this thing flies amazing. A little bit of prop wash, but that's to be expected. Minimal prop wash, I feel like it's really locked in. I'm not sure if I prefer this compared to other drones I've flown, but now that I've tuned everything in a little bit more, it's nice, man. Prop wash is super minimal too. I actually feel like I'm flying this a lot better now. Wow, like I just cannot believe it's a Vada. I'm basically flying a Vada right now on a sick FPV cord. Like that kind of explains why it was so bad in the past, but you can see everything and it is unbelievable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The sky's a bit overexposed. That's a bit of a problem with the Vada. Dynamic range kind of trash, but it's all right. Like, if I flew freestyle, I would more than happy to fly this. These gimbals are a lot tighter than what I'm used to, so there's that. Not very fluid, to say the least. I didn't think they were going to be serious when they said, oh, you don't need an action camera, but now I'm actually starting to believe it. It's crazy. This is actually nonsense. Let's see if I can thread through these trees. I can legit see every branch. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Go gap here. Oh my god, I can see every branch and I can go through it like it's nothing, man. Oh my lord. My goodness, this is insane. This is insane. And we're flying far as well. Seems to not be a problem at all. Alright, so just some final takeaways. Is it worth getting the O3 Air unit if you already have the V2 goggles? I think absolutely. The video looks a lot better and the penetration range is great. The only negative is the increased price, but I think it is worth it at the end of the day. I am a little bit hesitant putting on my quad because again, more money, more loss, but I'll probably just send this. Some other quick points of upgrading to this O3 system. I'm using the DJI FPV Remote 2. I'm taking a little bit of time to adjust. I'm not very smooth with the sticks because it's a smaller controller, but it's so much more convenient and I love that. And in regards to penetration range, this does an amazing job. I flew and tested a bit further with a bunch of trees, no line of sight, and it worked amazing. Also, I really wasn't sold on the O3 unit being an action camera, but it really is an Avata, and it can definitely do it. It's almost a bit sad putting a GoPro on it because I feel like I'm wasting such good video footage just to get a little bit more out of my GoPro, but I probably will end up doing that anyway. So that's basically it. I think it is truly a game changer. Subscribe and we'll capture some amazing footage with this drone, and stay tuned for a full review of the Nazgul Evoke V2, which has done so good so far.